on day two and we are about to hit the approach trail that's going to take us to Springer Mountain. So it looks like we only have four and a half miles today, which would be awesome. Dad was having some trouble with the fit okay. of his backpack. I decided to put some of the things from his bag into mine. So I just want to say my bag was 14 pounds when I started. Look at how much it weighs now. 37. 36, 36. We left the beloved Linfoot hike in and started hiking up to Springer Mountain. Also, I just want to give a shout out to Amy and Carrie. I received my first trail magic from these two lovely ladies who are <laughs> incredible. So I started my hike and I had forgotten my water bladder. I actually couldn't find it when I was packing and huge bummer because I stay dehydrated without it. Um, I can't reach my bottle, my water bottles while I'm hiking, um, so I only can drink when I take rest, and I don't like to stop that much. So, Amy today was like, you should have my water bladder, and she just gave it to me, and they also gave me some cash too, which was so nice. So that's going to pay for my next stop and resupply. So I just want to thank you guys. Y'all are literal trail angels, and I really appreciate you, and what they say is true that the trail really does provide. So I'm not gonna lie, this trail has been a little bit more difficult today. I don't think the trail's actually harder. I think it's just um, my bag. You can see how high up it is. <laughs> it's, it, I don't know, for some reason it just got heavier. So um, I think I picked up some things, but anyway, been out of breath, but we just came across something that's super cool. I want to show you. We are meeting up with the approach trail. So the trail just turned from green to now we have a blue uh, blaze, which means that we are on the official approach trail of the AT, and the next big waymark will be. Springer Mountain, just that way. Let's see if Dad has anything to say. I'll just say I wore my fantastic hat because I know Dina is going to give me a big salary for big pay <laughs> paycheck for wearing her hat on this trip. <laughs> Hi to all of our relatives. Hey, Dina. <laughs> this view is so amazing. And we hit a trail that... It's just so much better than the trail that we were on. Dad said that it's like hiking on pavement versus, what did you say, a pit hold gravel road. So it is a lot better. But we just passed some friends from the hike in and they said that it's like one mile downhill and then it's three miles straight uphill. So I was like, we might not even make it a swinger today. We had a late start. So we're gonna have to go pretty fast. Check it out, we're in Gilmore County. We have hiked to another county. Feels pretty good. So now, see the sign for Dawson County. And then the other side is Gilmore County. So that means I'm standing in two counties at once. This is cool. This is called Nimble Will Gap. And we just saw someone drive through who didn't even wave so I mean you're out in the middle of nowhere it's like how hard is it to wave hi but this is cool it's like an old service road that you can just drive up but I wouldn't want to drive it without four-wheel drive and a rugged vehicle like a jeep or something gonna go filter our yeah we made it <laughs> yay gonna go filter our water down there okay we're getting dad's first time to filter water <laughs> he just got it from this creek down here yep Awesome. Way to go, Dad. 
We ate a brown bag lunch from the Hike Inn, which was a sandwich, trail mix, and an amicalicious cookie. We up on our first shelter, which is Black Gap Shelter, through the trees. Pretty, pretty cool. There was actually a sick hiker there that we passed. And I think she had been throwing up for like four days. So she's being hiked out by um, two ridge runners. Um, and we passed her, so hopefully she feels better soon. So we're at a part of the hike that's just, where's dad? Yeah. There he is. It's just straight uphill. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's going to be so worth it. It is a perfect day. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. We're seeing almost like a 360 mountain view. We're gonna see that soon. And it couldn't be a better day. Um, but we're feeling good about the miles that we put in so far. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So we're about a mile from where we're gonna stop for the night. And dad, how are you feeling? I feel wonderful. Yeah, we feel really great. And we think we see Springer Mountain. I think it's that mountain right there, which is going to be a pretty hefty climb. I think it's over 500 feet climb from where we are now. So we're going to be working for our dinner, which by the way, is chicken and dumplings that we're really excited about. Here we go up some crazy rocks up Springer Mountain. PSA. We need to leave, do a better job at leave no trace. I just want to show you what's on the mountain. Toilet paper! Who did this? All right, let's do this. Springer Mountain! <laughs> yes! Oh, we're the only ones here. Did it go up? Yay! It was a hard day, but we did it and it was totally worth it. And Dad, what did you say? I think it was well worth it. Was this your goal? This is one of my goals, is to get the top of Springer. The other goal is blood. We'll be there in a few days. We'll get them both. What, Dad? First white yeah, we did it! Woohoo! Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes, we did it! We did it! We are officially on the Appalachian Trail. It's only taken us two days to get here. Oh my gosh! The journey begins! Okay, now that we're up here, we just have to find the trail registry so we can write for the first time in the register. Just looking around and I don't see it. Last time I think it was like under these rocks, um, but I actually don't see it. So I don't know where it is. Hmm. Oh. I found it. It's literally right there underneath dad. Yeah.
And guess what? We're not on the approach trail anymore. Yay! We felt so accomplished so and nice. we made it to Springer Mountain Shelter. We made our chicken and dumplings that we were really looking forward to. And dad set up his tent. Dad, how's your tent going? Is it fixed? But the night did take another turn. There's only one way to put it, and that is that mistakes were made. I slept in my hammock. There's no underquilt. I had no tarp above me to shield me from wind. And that night, a gigantic windstorm hit. The wind was so intense, it was literally blowing my hammock sideways, and my sleeping bag felt like I was sleeping in a sheet. It was so cold, and we could literally hear the tin roof of the shelter banging and banging, and it felt like it was going to blow off right into us. But some point in the middle of the night, I literally climbed into my dad's tent, and the rest of the video is black because it's taken from inside. Oh my gosh, it'd be off or lightning. How fast do you think this wind's going, Dad? How fast do you think this wind's going? it through the night would the wind stop blowing would the roof stay intact only time would tell oh my gosh it'd be awful